Hello and welcome everyone, Kikan here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a golf intro. So let's look at the intro we're going to create. So there you have the golf intro that we're going to create. So I'm going to show you how to do this with a text and with the logo. So the first thing you need to do is to start off Adobe After Effects, just like I've done here, and press uh, New Composition. So we're going to name this Golf Intro, just like this. And we're going to stick to 10 seconds on this one. So go down here and press OK. So now you can see the background here for the project. So we're going to add a grass background to this. So we're going to do that by going over here, uh, press File, go down to Import, and Import a file. And here we have the picture that we're going to use. So we're going to import it. And now you can see it up, it up here in the corner. So I'm going to drag it down to the project. And uh, now I'm going to size it up just to make it fit into the background. Something like this. And here we actually have the background layer just now. So the second thing we need to do is to add a golf ball into this one. So I'm going to go up to file again and import a second image. And here you can see the golf ball up here in the corner. So I'm going to drag this down here as well. Make sure that this layer uh, of the golf ball is above the background, otherwise you don't going to see it. So I'm going to zoom in here to make it a little bit bigger, just like this. And I'm going to put it up over here. So now we're going to create the effects for this ball to come in this way and go down here. Uh, so we're going to do that by going over here, mark this arrow, go down to transform. And we're going to choose the position tool. So make sure that you mark the stopwatch to create a keyframe here on the timeline. And we want this ball to be outside the background here. So we're going to drag it in this direction. Something like this. So this is going to be the start pos starting position for this ball. So the next thing we need to do is to drag this line here on the timeline. Uh, just pause three seconds, something like this. And then we're going to drag this tool again to make it come in just like a sliding effect. Something like that. So now uh, let's just check out how it looks so far. The golf ball is going to come in just like this. And now we actually want it to go down in this direction. So uh, drag this line a little bit on the timeline. Something like that. And instead of this one, choose this one instead to make it uh, go in this direction instead. So I'm going to drag it down a little bit. Just like that. So as you can see now, the ball actually going to go in this path and we don't want that. We just want it to go straight down. So uh, mark this circle here and drag it in this direction. Just like, just like this. There we go. And uh, let's just check out how it looks so far. The golf ball is going to come in in a straight line here and then go down. But this looks pretty boring. So we're actually going to add a rotation to this uh, ball as well. So go down to the starting point here and uh, go down here and choose the rotation tool. Make sure that you mark the stopwatch uh, to create a keyframe here. And then simply drag this line here on the timeline to this position uh, be because we want it to rotate the whole way here. So we're going to choose the amount here to be 500. You can choose whatever amount you want here. Uh, if you want it to rotate faster or slower, it depends what you like. But I'm going to stick with 500 on this one. So let's check out, uh, let's check out how it looks so far. Now you can actually see the ball rotate as well. So if I drag it in this direction instead, just like that. So now we're actually going to create uh, create so this ball actually disappear. So we're going to do that by close this one first and unmark uh, this layer, just like that. And uh, right click over here and go up to new and create a new solid. And we're going to name this hole, just like that, and press OK. And now we can actually see we've got a new background 
so we're gonna create a rectangle of this so simply drag this one down a little bit to add a lower shape on it and we're gonna place this just below the the golf ball something like something like this just make sure that the golf ball is gonna fit into this so if I drag this line here on the timeline now you can actually see the golf ball actually disappear down uh, beneath this layer uh, but it don't looks pretty good because we have a different background here and a different background here so we're gonna make this background come into this one so we're gonna fix that by mark this solid that we actually created and right click on it and pre-compose it so we're gonna, uh, gonna choose this one move all attribution into the new composition and press ok and uh, double click on the uh, pre-composition that we actually did to make, uh, make it in this view instead. So we're gonna add the grass background to this as well. So we're gonna go up here to file, import the background again, and import it. And now you can see it up it here in the corner as well. So drag it down here, just under this, uh, this layer, and make sure that this background is gonna be on the same size as the other grass background. Uh, otherwise, it's gonna look pretty weird in this direction, and we don't want that. So make sure that you have the same size as the other, the other one. And it's gonna be just something like that. And now we're actually gonna create this background to come in in this uh, area instead. So we're gonna do that by go down over here, and uh, normally you can't see this one. So you're gonna go down here to toggle switch modes. And click it. Uh, this is the normal view. So if I click on this again, you can actually see it here. So uh, we're gonna mark this one and choose the alpha mat hole. And now you can actually see this area goes to this instead. And that's actually one over one and two. So let's get back to the overview view. And now we can actually see the hole disappear. So let's just check out how it looks so far. The golf balls come in, rolling, and then disappear. That looks pretty good. So now let us create the text that gonna comes in after this ball. So the simple thing we need to do is to right click down here and create a new text. And we're gonna type in name, just like this. And we're gonna drag up the name here, just behind the golf ball, just to make the golf ball swipe over it just like this but we want this to reveal itself uh, when this ball has passed so we're gonna uh, do that by dragging this line to the beginning something like this and make sure that you don't have any layer here marked uh, and go up here and double click on this rectangle tool just like this and we're gonna drag this down a little bit just like that and make sure that this rectangle actually covers the whole name otherwise it, uh, the name gonna disappear out of this rectangle and we don't want that so uh, we we need now we need to do is to make this rectangle goes behind this golf ball so go down to transform here and uh, make sure that you have this layer uh, marked and mark the position uh, clock here the stopwatch I'm gonna choose it, uh, drag it, so it's just behind the golf ball. Something like, let's see, something like that. So now we actually want this uh, this rectangle to swipe over the name here. So the simple thing we need to do, uh, drag this line over here to this position when the golf ball stops, and we're gonna drag this layer as well, so it just follow the golf ball, something like that. So let's sh check out how it looks. It's gonna looks like this. But as you can see now, actually the, this rectangle actually covered the name. So we're gonna fix that by closing this layer. And uh, make sure that you have this view up. You can choose it with toggle switch modes, just like that. This is the ordinary view, and this is the second view. So go down here and choose this one, the name uh, name layer and uh, choose the alpha matte shape layer style one and here you can actually see the name here 
So if I simply drag this back to the beginning, you can actually see that the name disappeared, just like that. And if I go back in this direction to the end, you can actually see the text reveal itself, just like that, and the gold fold disappear. So there you have how to do it with a name. So I'm going to show you how to do this with, uh, with the logo as well. Uh, it's the same principle. So the simple thing we need to do is to erase this name layer, just like that. And we're going to import an image to this. Uh, click on File, go down here and import the logo that we want to. I'm going to import it here and drag it below this, uh, this rectangle shape here. And I'm going to drag this down. Make sure that this logo as well fits into the rec uh, rectangle that you created. Otherwise, you're not going to see it. So if I simply do do it like this, and drag it up a little bit more, just to make it behind this goal pole. And uh, the simple thing you need to do now is uh, to do the same here, to uh, uh, mark the alpha matte shape layer one instead, just like this. Let us check out how it looks. The golf is gonna come in, and the rectangle as well. And it's just swipe over and going down. So there you basically have uh, the both intro, uh, with the logo and with the name. So I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you find this tutorial useful. If you do, please give it a thumb up. And don't forget to check out my Twitch channel, click on official for more gameplay and tutorials. Until next time, boys and girls, take care now. Bye bye then.